Hello everyone and welcome back to the island of Hoshin where we are here with our tribe of creatures that has been doing pretty good lately. I'm actually very proud of how much we've managed to accomplish on our island. Turns out we have been on this island for four hours now. Oh and I'm very proud of how much we accomplished and then I look over a dead body that's just sort of hovering in the background peeking out from behind the bushes. I can't believe that they really are it really is just peeking out from behind the bushes over there Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just ignore that little fact and we'll move over and see what's going on in my swamp family Oh, we've got to see what is trying to sneak down on my swamp family I think we have two very pregnant lean bellies on our females right here So my swamp family is very interesting to me because they are the ones Dukta you better stay alive who are carrying the immunity D gene and we definitely want to spread that through the populace. And so far, the two babies that they've had so far, uh, Ron Vankir over here, and then the little girl, Syra, they haven't had that gene expressed. So we've been trying to get the immunity D gene reintroduced into our little group for a while now. And I think this little guy, yeah, Van Dukta, with his gigantic ears and his venomous fangs, his green eyes, and his pretty hilarious little paw. He is actually one of the most interesting of the little groups that we've got going down here and then Lamera as well she looks like she could be pretty fun so we're we're doing pretty good we've got a lot going on a lot of babies born a lot of babies with really good movement born Kukta uh, actually has the blue eyes blue eyes appear to be somewhat recessive in our group oh gosh and over here Dictora has come to take over control of what is happening over at this berry bush. Aha, it was a bunny. Okay, well noted, a bunny over there. And then you guys reminded me, there's apparently somewhere over here, and I'm actually going to maybe risk seeing if I can see it if I just zip this way. Um, I don't want to go too far, but darn, no, I can't see it anywhere. There's apparently another nest hiding somewhere like in this area. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then, Sila, my dear, do you want to come and maybe do a little exploring to see what that noise is, just in case, because you've got good attack? All right, and then we've got you. You can gather that up. And then we've got you. You can gather up some of these berries. Ooh, yeah, Kukta is a... Uh uh, to Daku, excuse me. He is a really good berry gatherer, so we may have him gather a lot of berries. And then Van Duke here isn't the best berry gatherer, but he can come over and gather up this dead rabbit that we managed to snag for food. And then newborn baby, Rokir here, who, let's see, anything special? Nope, not expressing that gene again. So does anybody down here have that gene? D gene, other than the ones that I already have having babies? And Izmi, I think we had you... Uh, yeah, Rotata. Oh, that's right. So Rotata and his younger brother, Vanduta, they both have the D immunity gene. So we might be keeping an eye on those guys pretty soon. And it looks like we have an expectant belly right over here. All right, let's get her up in the little nest so she can get comfortable and have some babies. And then I'm going to keep an eye. The swamp family is really who kind of has my attention at the moment. No! We lost him! We lost our swamp family male! It's so sad! Look at the way she's almost covering the child's eye to hide the fact that their father, their father, one of the founding patriarchal members of the swamp family has died. And left behind Simi who has brown eyes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! We unlocked that! Sweet! So we unlocked the brown eyes, and now we can try to unlock, I think, like, the last couple jeans we've got going on over here. So now we've got little Simi, and she has the brown eyes, yellow fur with gray fur mix, panda pattern, and the D immunity gene, good movement and gathering. Sweet. So she's going to be really fun to play with. I'm going to scooch her, like, ant over a little bit, and then we'll find out, oh, Rovan here, why do you have to get sick? Is it because he's in the swamp? Then let's send little Rovan here out of the swamp. He can hang out down next to this berry bush and hopefully get, get better. His older sister, Syra, doesn't seem to have much issue in the swamp, and and Syra is actually a pretty good collector and explorer. She has fantastic movement. So I really hope we can find a good male to match her with at some point. And then, oh sweet, here's some more berry bushes. All right, well, can I explore? Yeah, now I can get over to that berry bush, no problem. So I think Syra is going to actually be our swamp explorer, and I think she'll have a good time about it. Oh, there's a bunny. I spy a bunny. All right. Oh, and there's a pregnant belly over here too. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there was a pregnant belly there as well. You know what? I want to kind of move Van Dukta. I want Van Dukta and Syra, I think, to have some babies. I think that could be an interesting mix. 
Then Dukta, your brother has already been born over here. Rotata already has kind of the normal genes we've come to expect for this area. Really strong, not the best gatherers, but they're pretty decent at speed for this open area where they can do a lot of bunny hunting. So I think that little Vang Dukta actually has a bit of a rebellious spirit to him and he's going to set off into the swamp. So hopefully he can find a couple of the females up here in the swamp, like Syra, and then maybe Simi, Simi and Syra, and maybe have some babies with them. So, all right, Van Dukta. Oh man, he's so cool. He looks like a little swamp creature too. So we're gonna move him off and he's gonna work his way into the swamp. He's running away before the pack even realizes what's happening because they're so overwhelmed by all these pregnant babies. Pregnant, pregnant bellies, I mean, not pregnant babies. You guys know what I mean. Pregnant bellies everywhere. And Miri has just been born. She's got pretty good attack. Unfortunately, she does have double dose on F immunity. So, all right, we'll have to see how she does. Get away, bunny. Get away. Okay, we'll have to see if we can manage to snag that bunny. Oh, I came back. Of course it would come back. Just as it, like, slips on and it teases us. Rude bunny. Rude bunny. All right, and we'll gather up what we can. Hey, hey, what are you doing? We'll gather up what we can and then maybe make like a little circle over here. We'll start exploring a little bit more too because I think the bunnies will be worth trying to get. And then Taravano over here, he's got pretty bad immunity, this little guy, but he's got decent movement and strength. So I think we might have him and Kukta and then Rokyuk here who, let's see, carries blue eyes recessively. Yeah, these family members are more into like hunting for bunnies. So we'll kind of start scattering them about so that they can hunt for bunnies a bit better. And then Izzy, same as her brother. So we'll let one of these two, I think we'll let him go ahead and pick the berries for now. And we'll let her go off and start doing a little bit of exploring because we're starting to get a little bit of extra food that I can start exploring with. I don't know if these ones need to have more babies, to be honest. Remes, well, she has the D immunity. Yes, pass that on, please, I'm begging you. I might have to try breeding you with somebody else if that doesn't work. And then let's go ahead and gather up these berries. And then this guy, he can be a good bunny hunter if I position him just right. So can he out hunt this bunny? Ah, dang it, that was like a waste. I was trying to see, oh, now the bunny gets close enough, phooey. I was trying to see if we could manage to wiggle to that bunny, and unfortunately we couldn't. And then Tantu here, it doesn't have very good moves, but we were gonna send him over to continue exploring the edge of the land, to maybe sweep up here and start exploring what's going on in this section. So we've got a few little, few little pregnant bellies everywhere. We've got, we've got some babies. Oh, did I see, Izmi, did I see what your child looked like? Samira. Oh yeah, good movement. She'll be a good explorer. We might send her up north to join the swamp ranks because they're, they're all about exploring effectively. So the swamp family has just experienced tragedy, but we have a little fanged troublemaker hiding in the grass on its way to join them. Little do they know, no! Talk about tragedy! And now we lost that female, Simi! Simi, I'm so sorry! I, I'm so sorry! Here, scooch this way, my dear, and we'll have pregnant Comey, who apparently isn't long for this world either. Jeez Louise. We'll have her go ahead. There, he got some food. Good job, Rovankier. Hopefully, yeah, he's not sick anymore, so getting him out of the swamp was a good move. He just doesn't have good swamp immunity, it seems. And then Syra is ready to do some major exploring which is useful because Syra here can actually rotate really quickly from berry bush to berry bush so that we can and it looks like you have to keep an eye on the berry bushes and guard them in order to prevent them from being eaten by bunnies I didn't know that until we moved just there I thought that berry bush would be full so phooey all right well we'll explore a little bit down here just to clear that up a little bit and then you my friend Dukta you go ahead and gather that up any bunnies I can gather over here Ah, I missed that bunny. Darn, if only I could chase it down. We'll figure out, oh, there's a bunny I can chase down. We'll figure out how to balance that all out in the future, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I love how they look like they're holding onto their children. Oh, Mies, that's so sweet, is here with Mir, and Mir is good at defense, so she can hang out with the, the bunny hunting crew. And then Lamera, she can also hang out with the bunny hunting crew. And then who do we have here as a baby? Kiravan, and he does not have the genetics we're looking for, but he's a good, a good across the board sort of explorer slash bunny hunter. I'm sure it'll work out. All right, we'll have her keep moving and exploring. Hey, we'll gather up that bunny. 
And then these two can gather up some more food. And then you can gather up some more food. And then our little troublemaker is going to start wiggling his way deeper into the jungle, where hopefully he will be able to make his way over to the troubled swamp pack. I mean, it doesn't really get much more tragic than this. <laughs> two, two dead bodies sitting inside of your family nest and a pregnant belly and like a devastated child. I think Simi is going to like have the arrival of Van Dukta here as, as like, oh, finally a good thing happening in her life, poor child. All right, we'll do a little bit more exploring over here just so that we can kind of say that we're exploring more of the island. It is sort of like a completionist thing to be able to explore the island, but pretty soon, uh, if not in the next couple episodes, but pretty soon we will be moving to a new island. We'll be starting, well, not our creatures. In the future, I think you're supposed to be able to like explore an island and then navigate to a new one, like be able to actually go to a new, migrate to a new island. But we will be shifting to another new set of family members, and we'll see how we can do with that set of family members. All right, so let's see. Any more berry hunting going on? I don't think so. I could I could move you over here. Oh, wow, with their sight so far, you can actually like look at things that are far away, too. I didn't know that. Oh, so cool. All right, I think everything's good here. Samara can scooch down a little bit. Ismi, do you have any particular traits? No, she doesn't really have any particular traits to encourage her to go and do anything fancy when it comes to hunting. I guess I could send her over here to do a, just a teensy bit of exploring, just along the the edges of the up oh, the edges of the desert. So that might be useful. You never know. You might be able to see bunnies a little bit easier then. All right, let's see what kind of baby the next swamp family member is going to be. There we go! Okay, so it's Van Van! And Van Van does have the D immunity! Yes! We'll send Van Van down south so that Van Van can go and spread his genetics elsewhere. And then over here, we've got Van Dukta growing up pretty quickly. And I think Syrah would have heard something and she would be suspicious. Alright, I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see if I can get... Oh, Trasani! Rizani is about to have, like, the very last of her moments, unfortunately because she's getting very old. Get away from my berry. She can't collect the berries. So Syrah will have heard an odd movement, I think, and she'll set out to investigate and see what's going on. And then dun dun dun, we have the meeting. Van Dukta shows up out of the grasses. And so there we go. Syrah and Van Dukta, I think they look like a handsome pair together. I'm excited to see what kind of kids they may have, especially if we can mutate that green, the green eyes, into being a potential genetic offspring like result. And we might even try like toxic body and adding it adding it in with the venomous fangs that they've managed because I think maybe toxic body and venomous fangs will unlock something there. Mutate dots in secret unlock condition. Hmm. We'll try mutating dots a few times when it comes down to it. All right, let's see what's going on over at this rattly place. All right, so we've got a little boy we can send down. Comey's not long for this world. We might send her to do some exploring in the swamp before before it's all over. All right, we'll gather this up. Sweet! And then we've got a good little hunter over here with Ravankir. So Ravankir may stay as kind of help for his swamp family to help gather things up. And then we'll go ahead. We've got to focus on food collecting right now, it seems. As much as I want to focus on like... Oh, no! Aw, my, my bunny collector died of old age. I guess... Lamera, your time to step in as the family role for the bunny collecting has come. Yep, 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 that's kind of sad. All right, and then we'll come over here, gather up some more berries. I do need to get more active bunny hunting somehow, so I guess I just need to start sending down my little ones to be bunny hunters. And then I do have, you have one collecting, you have, oh, I moved her, I didn't mean to move her. I meant to make her collect berries. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. All right, but Rotata here, he does have that D immunity. So I'm going to have him be able to kind of rule the south. He's going to rule some of the south over at least one of the groups. Maybe the bunny group will be kind of his domain. So we'll look for those who are strong and those who have pretty good, um, pretty good speed and they will be his mates. All right, let's see what the heck is making all the noise over here. So Ismi here has one hearing and three eyesight. 
but she has to be right up against something to explore it. Ah, there's another bunny! Taunting us, taunting us. All right, so, but see, then I don't, well, I guess we were kind of up against that one. Okay, we'll figure it out eventually. Don't you worry, guys. All right, and there's that. I feel like me, can you do anything? Maybe chase down a bunny or two? Yeah, now we're gonna have to figure out how we can start chasing the bunnies, I think. But I'm just gonna leave Mies to kind of stay with Miri. And Miri has bad genetics, but I think she might make a pretty sweet mate for our new little boy, Van Van. Miri and Van Van sound like a good match. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to introduce the D gene down here as well. So we'll have to see how that works out. Any bunnies, any bunnies I can hunt. Oh my goodness, lots of bunnies, lots of bunnies I can hunt. Uh, there we go. All right, we're gathering up lots of bunnies on this side at least. All right, so let's see where things go from here. I'm really excited about the little love story we have among the green-eyed swamp lady and the the fanged troublemaker from the southern tribe. All right. He's not old enough to have babies yet, so all they can really do- Ah, oh, there you go! The bunny! The bunny spawned right on top of the bunny mound. Any other bunny mounds? Any other bunnies spawning on bunny mounds? Triple checking really quick before we start moving. No, I just got a lot of bunny food to gather up all over the place. Any bunnies moving close? Oh yeah, this is actually pretty helpful. So now I can actually zip up here. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing, bunny? So Van Dukta came over and he helped gather up some food. And then we can try to start chasing down some of the bunnies pretty soon. We need to. All right, and then you can gather up that. And should I have you have any more babies? I mean, Ramirez, I guess we can. We'll let him have like one more baby just to see if anything good happens. Get away, bunny. There we go, got some bunny food there. And I guess we can go ahead and explore that and then keep an eye on where the bunnies can go. So I guess if you explore all of the grass, you actually have the benefit of knowing where the bunnies will be and being able to plan around that because you can see where they move. So yeah, we should probably start doing that more often. I wanna have some good bunny hunters established all over the place. There we go, because look at that, we got a lot of food from that bunny hunt. And then we'll come down over here. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure we, oh, we lost our old explorer, so sad. Sweet, and see, so these two just defended the berries of the swamp from the bunnies. So I'm sure they'll bond over that. All right, and then we'll come into the desert. We're right on the edges is Rovankier, who tends to get very sick for some reason. Hmm. He's not in the swamp anymore. Maybe if I scooch him over one, he'll feel a little bit better. And then we have little Van Van, who one day after his mother passes away of very soon, old age probably, Van Van can follow his mom for now. And eventually he'll go, he'll go further south. But for now, we'll keep him here. And we'll have her scooch over. All right, so I like where the, the swamp tribe is going. They've got so many berries, and they've got good movement and good berry collecting, so they should get pretty far in life. And we're looking at some bunnies sneaking up, sneaking up on us over here. And so near Kuduk, I think we'll send him, he's really a strong little guy, but I guess we'll send him down to help out with the bunnies, because there's not really anything else he could do. All right, and we'll look over, we'll explore some more of these things in a little bit. All right, any bunnies? Nope, not getting close enough, not getting close enough to attack. Then we've got some food over here, okay. And yeah, we're gonna have to move this guy. He's just like stuck over here, not really doing much of anything, waiting for bunnies. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Couple pregnant bellies, waiting to have babies. And then we've got our little swamp family and their, their little melodrama playing out back here. Van Kier, oh, I heard a sniffle. Van Dukta, excuse me. Are you old enough to have babies yet? Not yet, he's not quite old enough yet, but I think he's enchanted. So we'll send him over to fall for these two sisters. All right, cause it's a little bit more fun when you give it a bit of a story kick like that, you know? All right, and we'll go ahead and have her explore those spots. And then he can pop over and be helpful. Oh, and he's gonna have to help defend all of the, oh no, get away, bunny. All of the spots where the bunnies are coming in to eat the berries. Not good, gotta keep those bunnies away from our berries, thank you very much. And then, let's see, any bunnies? Hmm, there's a bunny. Can I outrace that bunny? What about this way? What about this way? Yes! Got it, all right. 
So yeah, there's all actually a lot of merit to exploring all of the grass because then the bunnies can't get away when you finally do manage to pin them down. All right, which sounds really sad, but I've got to feed my tribe. All right, we had a new baby over here. Ramirez is about to pass away and she had a daughter named Rico, who unfortunately is pretty weak. So we'll probably keep her as a bunny hunter exclusive and sort of keep her away from breeding. And speaking of breeding, I do believe, who's the male, uh, near Kier Duke is actually the male that I was going to send over to potentially breed with any of the females we keep on this side. So I think he might mate with Isis here, Isis, Isis, we'll just call her, um, well, I don't know, Isiris? She's, oh, no, that's the whole other, I'm trying to think of all of the, the different Egyptian gods and goddesses. All right, and so we'll leave them be. And then I don't want to use up too much more food at this stage of things. Can you reach that food? Okay, so you can reach that food. I spy a little bunny sneaking at us over there. But we're out of food otherwise. All right, so moving on. More food, please. Yes, more food. More food. I'm so happy. All right. We've got food coming down from the skies now because, well, technically, because we've got all of the the spots there we go we'll keep him up there all of the bunny spots and all of the berry spots oh we lost another one to old age oh and her mother passed away miri i'm sorry i kept you there so long because i knew your mom wasn't long for this world same with rico her mother passed away too so sad but the good news is we're actually oh and look the desert berries don't repopulate that's interesting interesting indeed all right and this bunny ate all of the berries ah so we'll, we'll zip down there and take care of that in a second. But the good news is Syra is also old enough to have babies now. And that's a really good thing. So we'll actually send this curious pup, ah uh, gosh, over here. I didn't mean to waste so many moves. I was trying to decide what to do. And they're gonna have a baby. So Syra's like, I've got this. I could have gathered up berries and like zipped back over there, no problem. So she could have, but we'll send her little sister out here to gather up some berries. And her mother can help gather up some berries. Oh, the bunnies ate so much. And then Ravan Kier, as much as he likes staying out by the desert, I think we're going to have to start sending him deeper inside because he's going to need to gather up what berries he can. So we're starting to get a whole new little tribe up and going. And then Van Van will send down here and he'll sort of gather up berries from the periphery edges with Duktora here. Hmm. Well, actually, I think I might send him down because he has the gathering ability and he might actually be the mate we use instead. So we'll start moving him and he can help gather up berries. Everybody gets to help with the berries. Berry harvest is very important time of the, the rainy season. All right, and then we'll gather up this. Still keeping an eye out. Oh, oh Vanu, you can't gather berries? What nonsense is that? Well, I'm gonna have to scooch you out of the way then. You need to go and you need to go sit on top of like some other bunny bushes. Because that gets in the way a little bit. All right, yes. Managed to snag that bunny. Unwary bunny. Zipped right over. And Kukta is, uh, Kuta Duke, excuse me, is about to pass away of old age. So we're just going to go ahead. And then Rico is a little bit weak. So we'll make her a bunny hunter. She can come down and she can assist in keeping an eye on the whole area. And quite literally, because if you can keep everybody sort of, sort of scattered around with their sight. Um, then you can figure out where the bunnies are really easily. So we're getting there. I'm, I'm quite intrigued by this actually. And then Samara, I think I was maybe sending her up north potentially. Yeah, because she has poison fangs. I'm going to send her up north. That would make an interesting little twist. All right. And then let's see. She can go ahead and view things over here. Van Van, do you carry recessive for fangs? No, you don't. All right. I do want to see if we can get like the, the swamp tribe group actually having the fangs because I think that would be really cool. All right. So let's finish up by checking out what the firstborn baby of the swamp family is going to be because the swamp family is growing and they're growing with fangs now. So let's see what happens. Okay. It's a new baby. 
Oh my gosh, Van Duke Row. Van Duke Ta, you really wanted to name your child like after yourself, didn't you, sir? Aw, oh, recessive. Recessive for the poison fangs. But he does have D immunity. Sweet. So he has just been born. That is wonderful. And then Van Dukta over here can meet with the beautiful Simi. So we'll be able to hopefully have some more babies very, very soon. We've got the rain coming down to gather up more berries. Oh, and we've got some unwary bunnies. Unwary bunnies. Hopefully that's a bunny. I really hope that's a bunny. <laughs> and we've got a lot more exploring to do. So I'm pretty happy about this. We're. I feel like I'm starting to get kind of a good flow of everything figuring out what needs to be done where and how to keep all of my animals alive and expand my tribe without too much interbreeding. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. But all right guys, we're gonna see if we can pass on those awesome fangs into our swamp tribe next time. And we'll also see if we can continue to do some more exploring. And once we have pretty much the entire island more or less explored, then that is when I'm going to be looking into, come here you big juicy bunny. Come here and you just get away, get away. Ah, darn. That is when we are going to be looking into actually um, moving to a new island. So that'll be very exciting. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.